All right, gamers, welcome back. We're playing Farming Simulator 17, and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great morning. We're back here in Farming Simulator, and yeah, we're just throwing out the last barrel here. <laughs> barrel, yeah, the last bale. 2,600 bucks. We are now at 22.9, or 229.8, I should say. And there you go. It's getting all eaten up. We just made ourselves a ton of money off of that. That was great. So, yeah, we're up to over $200,000. That is, you know what, we just shut that one right down like that. That's the end of that job there. So I've been wanting to get rid of these bales for a while. I got rid of them all in, uh, oh, without too much trouble. One ended up up there, but I got it. That was the one I just threw away, actually. Uh, so there you go. We got that done. So what we're going to do today is our hay. Our, our cows want power food, and we got the power, f you know, we got the silo king and this and that. So we are going to go off and make some hay. Now, I had set a worker on cutting the grass. Hold on a second. Let's, let's jump over there and let's see what they're doing. All right, so we're here. And, yeah, he got a little zeal. I mean, it's already, the grass is already growing on top of it. This is crazy. The grass grows fast. <laughs> this is bonkers. Um, I had, uh, what, five speed or something like that? And now the grass is already growing back. It's, it's the same day. So it's 5.30 in the evening. In fact, the guy was, I was only going to cut part of the field. But I got working on the, on the silage bales. And I was making all kinds of money. I was all excited. And then, uh. I forgot about the grass being cut. So the grass has all been cut, including over there where our trees are at. <laughs> he, he went and cut where our trees are at. I don't know how he did that. Amazing. So the trees haven't grown yet. So I guess as they're saplings, he can still, I don't know, he cut around them or through them. I don't know what he did. So anyways, we got to Ted this field now. And this is going to be a bit of a job. Okay. I, I only wanted half a field. He gave me a full field. So we'll, we'll do what we can here just at least to get enough hay. Let's see how wide this thing is. I'm not even sure. It, we, we tested it last episode there, but that tree, this tree has to go too, by the way. Man, does that have to go. All right, so let's open her up. Let's open her up. Let's have a look. See here. We're going to get some hay rolling here, so we got a Ted. Look at this thing. What a straight beast. Okay. We're coming in on an angle, though, but we got this. Okay. And get that rolling. Okay. Okay. Is that going to reach over there? I don't know. Let's see. I guess we're going to go like this. And let's put her down. Let's get out there and see what we can see here. This is neato, isn't it? Oh, man. Sweet. Okay. Okay, okay. Stay in the lines, buddy. Actually, are we, are we hitting that over there? I'm not sure that we are. Still pretty sharp. Look at that. Pretty sharp. In fact, I wonder if this is something we could put a worker on. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. So this guy here, it's going to cost us a little bit of money, but at least he'll keep it straight. Look at the mess we're leaving behind, too. Let's zoom in here a little bit, see what this guy's up to. Look at that. Tedding like a champion. So this is pretty much the widest... Well, except for that Coon DLC one, but this is one of the widest ones in the base game, basically, and... Uh, pretty sharp so he just raises it like that okay he's gonna do a little circling around i guess it's a wide berth oh there's more trees in the way like seriously these trees we gotta do something about that one day look at this is he is he gonna line? okay he's lining it up look at that i don't care what it costs us i think i think the money we're gonna make from the cows is, is pretty much gonna make up for this we should be making at least another 2000 bucks a day, maybe 2500 which is pretty good. So we're going to Ted away here. This is, a, this is a hay episode, so I wonder, actually, if this guy's working here, let's, let's, I have my other, yeah, my other New Holland's right over there. I wonder if it could run, oh, for sure it could. All right, let's see. Let's see if this guy is capable I imagine that he is. Because the tether is wider, so this guy should be able to follow and make windrows. And then we'll get the bailing done once the tether is done. So, where's our... There it is over there. We've got all of our grass equipment here, which is kind of nice. As well as our tree planting device. Alright, let's get lined up here. And I'm thinking, yeah, I guess we'll start over on this end here. 
Might as well get all this done at the same time, right? In fact, we might be able to get two workers going and then we can go concentrate on something else. In fact, you see, I still have eight bales right there. And that's, that's what, $25,000 waiting to happen, basically? So, wait, we got to cut this tree down. Oh my goodness, I keep saying it too and I'm, oh, it's gonna, I'm going to lose my mind with that tree. I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. Now, I think, I think this should, this should reach. Let's open this one up as well and get it backed up here. Looks like we got some hay sitting on our dirt here. That's not good. Dirt contamination is not good. Let's open that up. Turn that on. Lower it. Oh, okay. And then... Are we going to get all that hay on the side? We are. Look at that. Sweet. This is what I'm talking about. Now, normally speaking, I don't know if hay is this color. Well, I mean, I do know. <laughs> uh, th this hay is its pretty green, I gotta say. Now, I mean, hay has always got a little bit of greenness to it, but... I don't know, usually it gets bleached pretty good in the sun, right? Am I gonna get that? I did. Oh, this guy is on fire. This guy's got some reach with his windrower. That's nice. Because I kind of find the windrower, especially on a worker, it's a little bit... I don't know. Sometimes it's a little bit short. Like you'll see, he's gonna, she, or it's a she in there now. She's gonna turn around, and she's not gonna go. It's, she's not gonna take in the full width that she should. That's one thing that's kind of. Oh, look at that! Like, watch this. You're gonna see my. I guess my left on the left hand side there. You're gonna see that it's. It could have been. I mean, she centers it up with the wheels basically. You see, how the wheels are gonna go over that, right there. But there's a hole. Yeah. Right here, no, I can't, I can't, let me see. On this side here, I don't know if I can even do this. It's pretty good, I guess. But look how much of that circular part on the right-hand side there could still be taking in some, some hay. But there you go, look at this. We got an operation happening here, that's right. So once we got this, I think we're gonna bail it up. Um, I don't, we're not gonna wrap it, we just have to bail it, basically, right? So the, the wrapping process, uh, procedure, it can be skipped, and then we'll just, I will have to stack them, which is going to be hard to do because my stacker is full. But okay. It's not very big. I don't even think I fertilized. I think I might have forgotten to fertilize. Hmm. I should, oh, I did forget to fertilize. That's right. That's why I got the tractor over there. I brought the fertilizer with me. So once we're done this, we'll try fertilizing, but... Hmm. The grass already growing. It's crazy how fast the grass grows. It's absolutely crazy. You could be doing grass cutting and hay baling and, uh, you know, silage wrapping. You could be doing that all day, every day. <laughs> it's nuts. If you have enough fields, I guess. But just this one field alone, man, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So I think once we have enough, like, I mean, we can make a lot of money in this field. But I think once we have enough money or at least enough grass produce, I don't know. I, I'm thinking we should plant something else here because it's such a big field. We have such a big combine now and a big header. We could really make some. We could really make something out of this field. As far as actual planting goes of vegetables and seeds, and if we did a wheat field, imagine how big that would be. I don't like the way she cuts it short there. The worker cuts it short, and there always ends up with a little something on the end of the field here. You see, the windrow isn't as big as the first one we did, because the first one I lined up. Hmm. Trying to make more money out of me. That's I think that's happening here. They know they're working by the hours. They're like, oh yeah, we'll just skimp. They're skimping. Typical worker. Unbelievable. Alright, well, we're going to keep going here. We'll bring you back when we're almost done here. Hold on.
back, and we just grabbed ourselves eight bales of hay. <laughs> That's right. And uh, we've got quite a bit more. And I was thinking, like, I made some round bales there, and we've got all this hay still to, to basically pick up, or to bale up, I should say. Uh, the eight that I have here in my trailer are basically the ones that were mingled in amongst the trees back there. And I set a worker to do some fertilizing, because I noticed, like, up here the furrows, or, or the windrows, are really, are really weak sauce. I mean, <laughs> they're not that great. And then over by where the trees were, where we hadn't... You know where we hadn't cut before it was still fertilized and we got some nice big windrows there so um you, you know we got to fertilize this area and i and i had put down a fertilizer anyways i had put down some uh what do you call it a fertilizer dispenser so now where am i going to put these that's the real question the real question is okay do they look any different from the grass ones let's actually take a look let's have a look see here all right, so this this is a okay. Now we come over here. Grass looks actually grass looks quite a bit greener, doesn't it? Unless it's just because it's in the shade here. I'm not sure. So okay, I don't want to mingle them up too much. It's a shame we put down a bunch of straw here, but I guess we'll be scooping that out soon enough. I wouldn't mind getting a little skid steer or something like that actually to work this area instead of leaving a tractor behind all the time. But a uh, skid steer would be nice. You know, some forks on there, and uh, a bucket, a nice size bucket, if at all possible. Okay, so, i tell you what, what we're going to do, I don't like leaving this hay outside, that's for sure. So, I think what we're going to have to do, can we stick it in there? I don't know, I don't know. i tell you what, I think I think we're just going to have, we don't really have much choice here. we got to kind of stick it next to our, our straw. So, let's do that. Actually, that's a little too sharp, buddy. Alright, let's go like this. And I think we can start lowering it down as well. Okay. Just like that's okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to start using it up right away anyways. So, okay. And then what we can do is, well, we're going to use this trailer again to pick up the rest of the round bales. But I think what I'm going to do is go invest in a square baler. Because a square baler, I don't have to stop and unload it all the time. And as nice as it is to have round bales, especially for silage and this and that. Actually, let's leave this right here. Uh, you know, like the silage. Ba like, it's nice to have round bales. Round bales serve their purpose, for sure. But... No, we don't have... No, we don't have anything on the front of this thing. Okay, where's our... Oh, it's over here. But I think what we're going to do is concentrate here on some square bales for a little while. Oh, why'd you turn your motor off, buddy? Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's get in here. Okay. We're looking for... I guess the, the bale spikes. Is that them over here? No, that's the pallets. Oh, I know where I put them. They're on the, other, they're on the other side. Can we drive through here? We sure can. Sweet. Drive right on, th right over the silage. Maybe not a good idea, but we did it. Okay. Let's see. Is it here? Oh, they're not here. Oh, that's more. What? Who? Who's got? Oh, maybe they're on. Oh, they're on the other tractor, are they? Oh, they are on the other tractor. Okay. So I tell you what. Let's get this guy over here. Let's just park him on the side. Okay, like that. Let's go check out the other tractor here. I think I think it's on this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is the fertilizer guy done? Oh, yes, he he's way over there. Okay, no problem. We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him soon enough. Okay, my little tractor has the has the forks on it. Let's see. Can we disconnect that thing? There we go. We're gonna have to put all our equipment away. It's already six ten. But first things first, we want to get the Silo King working here. So let's see what we can do. Let's go get some hay. Alright, let's aim for something up on top here. Maybe this one that's closest to us. Right in there, buddy. And? Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Awkward to say the least. Oh, there it goes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, woo! 
Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Here we go. There we go. This. This is what I'm talking about. This guy. This is why you gotta be careful. This is why you gotta be careful. Unreal. Let's see if we can uh, dislodge it. There. Oh. Okay. This guy's tossing round bales. Now those round bales. It might look small compared to my tractor, but in real life, those round bales are humongous. They can crush you to death. <laughs> You gotta be careful. In fact, this doesn't even look... They don't even look as big as they would in real life, to be honest. Okay. I think our... Yeah, it's right here. Let's get this up in the air. A little higher. Now, we can't see anything, so let's pop out. We want to see what's happening here. Oh, look at that. And look at that. Boom. Okay. So what we really want, actually, is to see what's in there. Okay, so maybe that's what we should use the other tractor for. And then we can use this one to just get the mixture right. Okay, so let's run over here. Let's... Are those white or pink? I guess it's white, yeah. It's just the way the sun's hitting them. I don't have pink foil. I wouldn't mind getting all the different foils, but... They're like $1,000 each. And at the moment... Well, we've got lots of money, thanks to our... You know, to our efforts with uh, both soya beans and silage, but okay, I'm gonna hang on to that money. Let's get some square baling happening as well. But first things first, let's hook up here. Is that off? It's a little bit off for real. Okay. Now, ooh. That's not what I wanted. Buddy, what are you doing? Why is this not... What, how, how off are we? We're hitting with our tire. Oh, mackerel. This guy's driving skills are unreal. It's like he doesn't even care. Let's get in there, buddy. There it is. Okay, so now we should be able to see. Let's pull up the data. All right, so we've got 33 across the board. Now, I think we're going to throw another hay... And I'm guessing silage in there? I, I don't even know. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The first time I've done this, so let's do this thing. And I know the red basically means it's too much. And for sure, because we put equal amounts of straw. And I think straw is only like a little bit of a filler, in my opinion. So, you know, it's probably it's probably two, two, and one, something like that. So let's get one more hay. Let's go like this. Let's actually go like that. There we go. Uh, no, wait. Hay is over here. See, I almost grabbed the grass. Almost. But my mad skills, my, my spidey senses told me. Okay. Now this time, get right in there. Okay, I think we got it. We sure do. Alright, let's go. Let's go. See, there's a, there's some kind of a crazy bump there. That thing just look, look, look. What just happened? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I had that one. Okay, you want to play like that, buddy? We're gonna play like that. Come on. You want to play like that? You're gonna get skewered. Something fierce. Come on now, stop clowning with me here. Okay, we gotta get ourselves out again. Oh, nice. Okay, let's hop out. Go look in here. Ooh, our mixture is actually quite nice. But I think we need, what is it? Silage? I think we need one more silage. So you know what? Let's hop in here. We've got silage right over here. And it's not getting used too quickly. So let's let's go grab one of these. Instead of taking it out of our barn. This stuff isn't sheltered. I mean, it's in plastic, right? But, okay. Let's go. Oh, this this better stop clowning with me here. I want I want a solid skewer here. Oh, I'm off a little bit. I'm off. As a matter of fact, hold on a sec. Oh man. Okay. I think it was way too high on that one. Let's try this again. I think I feel like I'm still too high. Yeah, okay, we're doing okay. So does this one jump off my forks? No. Weird. Alright. 
get that way up there. Ooh, don't smash into our trailer here. And it takes it. Nice. Okay, so we should be able to just back this up right here. Actually, let's back it up just a touch more. Let's, well, let's not do that. Let's hit that. Let's hop out. If we have enough room here, we do. All right, let's see what our mixture looks like now. Our mixture looks great. Well, sort of. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough. Okay. So if we power this up, now what do we do? Oh, unload is I. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's get this out of here. This unsightly. Let, let's go. Okay, here comes your power food, everyone. Well, the cows are excited. So it should just be unload, right? No. Is it? Whoa. What? What? Okay, okay, okay. It's coming out the other side. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Is there? Is there? Let me see. Okay, there is an unload side. Look at this. Tip side left, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. And we're doing this all wrong. Let's go. Look at that. Look. Look at that right in his face. There you go. Power food, baby. Oh, I like that. Look how it opens and stuff and pours out the front. Let's get this unsightly controls out of the way. Oh, that is nice. I like... Oh. Oh, and look at that. It opens and slides and stuff. And then how does it look? It looks empty. Are we empty? We're empty. Okay. Power that down. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Did that... What did that do for us just now? A whole container full. Well, was it full? I don't even know if it was full. Power food, 6,000. Okay, so they can use a little more. But we're doing great. Look at that. Productivity of the sheep is 99%. Um, the cows still says 73, but I think that's going to go up as soon as they realize there's power food in there. So I could do that all over again, actually. And probably... And probably... And then some, I think. Wow, that's amazing. So we can do Silo King like two loads is what it takes and then just keep the maintenance going after that. Which we can do. We can definitely do. All right. So... I think what I'm going to do next is basically... Is, where's my big tractor? Is this my big tractor? This is my big tractor. This is the T-Wall. Well, it's, it's my big tractor. That's the one. Okay. So we are going to go check out the store now, actually. Because in the next episode, I want to do some square baling. And probably going to have to do some harvesting as well pretty soon. The um, harvester has been sitting... Not the harvester. The combine has been sitting there just waiting for us to use it. Hmm. All right. Can we just cut through here? Is anybody going to notice? Look at that. Okay. Oh, they will notice. There's mud on the road now. Great. You're going to blame the local farmer now. Oh, when in doubt, blame the local farmer. That, that's so typical, you city folk. Unbelievable. All right, so let's go in here. Let's see. Let's see what it costs for a square baler. I think we have a serious amount of money now. In fact, hold on a second here. Can we take those things? Oh, no. You know what? They don't go here anyways. No, it's okay. All right, let's jump out of here. I was going to say, can we transport those? But I'm not going to go all the way off. That is going to be there forever. Until <laughs> until we do logging, basically. Which, which should be coming up. But I've got... Well, I've got square baling to do. And I've got... Uh, what was what did I just mention? Oh, combining. Right. We haven't combined in a while, actually. And now that we have a new combine... We haven't even used it. It's getting crazy. All right. So, let's see here. Grass. Oh, here. No. Baling technology. Okay. 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 That we have. That we don't... Well, we don't want right now. This we have. This we don't want... That's the roll bell. Oh, it's a hundred grand. Wow. Okay. Oh, and then it's 70. For, ooh, this is good. This is expensive. What, how many bales is this? This holds 16 bales. This is a lot more expensive than I was anticipating. Wow. So that would be $172,000. That would leave us with only 55,000 uh, bucks. We'd be up a creek for sure. Well, I mean, 55 grand is pretty good. What is this thing? Baylor. Huh. And this? What are these things? From the cook pack. Oh, interesting. 140 a day. And, oh, this also... This wraps it as well. Oof. Actually, that's a pretty good investment, considering this one here only turns it into a bale. Wow. Although, if you get that for, like, massive amounts of silage, though, you wouldn't be able to do anything else with it, would you? Hmm. Okay. And this one here, 105. So, what's the what's the difference? This one's 190 bucks a day. This one's 140 bucks a day. They're both the same. Hmm. This one's a little more expensive, but this one's 50 bucks extra per day, which I don't think that's a big deal, really. Horsepower is the same. So hold on a second here. Hold on just a second. We have 
Uh, no, we're going to have to go to the store, I guess, because we want to see our garage. We have this guy. And his horsepower is 163, so he doesn't even have enough horsepower for a square baler. We got to save up a little more. Because the square baling stuff, that's going to have to come with another tractor. So we should probably start saving up for a tractor first. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to aim for some, some harvesting uh, with our new combine. We've got we to slow down here. We, we, we could blow all our money, but it, it, we're going to end up with stuff that this, it's overpowered for our equipment. We might be able to pull it with this T6, but we're going to need, I mean, we're going to need, not this, I keep pulling that up. We want the, this thing here. If we pull up tractors, I mean, it's going to cost us, let's have a look-see, just like if we were to get a do I see, it's no way, no way. This one here is our T6, right? Which we actually got the big engine because this is 143. If we got the Valtra, 145. <laughs> oh boy, 165 is up to here. We're talking another 160, 170,000. If we were to get the Massey Ferguson, we'd be good to go for sure. But that is $172,000. So yeah, we don't have the money for it. I'm surprised. The bailing technology is expensive. But I guess the reason for that is because of all the money. I mean, look at the money we got already. So pretty epic if you, if you ask me. So we're going to head on back. That's going to be it for now, guys. I think uh, in the next episode, we got to get that new combine running. That's what we really want to do because that combine is nice. And I think our fields should be ready to harvest by the time we start up the next episode. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Farming Simulator 17. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.